Hello, you've made a great decision by choosing to watch this video. The concepts that I teach you in this video are definitely going to change your life for the better. Okay, so stick around and pay attention. So today we're going to be talking about metaphysics. The law of cause and effect. First of all, what is metaphysics? Metaphysics is the study of thought and emotions and its relation to the material world. Look, this is a keyboard. Somebody designed this keyboard, but first somebody had to think about a keyboard before they ever could design it, right? So like I explained in most of my videos, you can check out most of my videos if you subscribe. Like I say, in three months, you wouldn't recognize who you've become because of all the knowledge I'm going to download into your subconscious mind. So like I say in most of my videos, everything is created in the mind at first everything starts with a thought look around you if you can point at something that didn't start in somebody's head i will give you a million dollars just look around your room everything started with a design started with an imagination started with a thought nothing comes out from nowhere you can't turn um nothing into something it all starts with a thought right a thought is the is the creator is the creative, you know, is the cause, like we're going to talk about. A thought is the cause, and a result or a product is the effect. I thought about this video before I made it. So, in this video, we're going to talk about how thoughts make things happen. Today, we're going to learn about a cool idea called the law of cause and effect. It's the magic rule that says what you, what you think about can actually happen. This fascinating concept connects our thoughts to the world around us, metaphysics, showing how powerful our mind can be in shaping our reality. I want you to be able to create your reality just like I have, just like everybody that I've learned all this wonderful information from has as well. You know, you don't have to, don't in your life, never listen to somebody that is not going where you want to go or has been where you're trying to go so all the information that i'm presenting to you here is things that have worked for me and things that i've learned from successful people all over the world so what is the law of cause and effect simple definition very simple i like to keep things simple for you guys the law of cause and effect is a rule that says every action has a reaction if you do something something else will happen because of it if we meet in person and you see me, I'm a big dude, 6'4", 250 pounds, I lift weights. If you see me in person, it will not be a good idea for you to just slap me, right? Some people might think different. They might just want to smack me in the face. But you're going to get a reaction out of me that might not be pleasant for both of us, right? So everything that you do, every action has a reaction. And the, the full physics law is basically every action has an equal or opposite reaction pretty much example like when you throw a ball against the wall and it bounces back to you throwing a ball is the cause the ball bouncing back is the effect you smacking me in the face is the cause me choking you in the neck is the effect right simple as that right things you do create something else the choice the choices you make have effects on your life simple Physics, not metaphysics. Now we're talking about physics, the subject, and the law of cause and effect. Physics connection. This law isn't just about thoughts alone. It's a big deal in science. In physics, it says that for every action, there's a reaction. So not just in thoughts. This is, these are not things that I'm making up. In physics, in science, it is proven that every action has a reaction. It's proven. It's out there. Do your research if you want to quote me. Simple physics example. If you push a toy car, it moves. Your push is the cause and the car moving is the effect. That's a very beautiful example, right? You smack me, I got to smack you back. <laughs> if you put salt in water, it dissolves, right? Cause creates a reaction. Simple. The water becomes salty. Physics. But how can our thoughts be causes? Like I started this video with, everything around you started with a thought. 
every business around you, Apple, the biggest companies in the world, Tesla, Apple, Twitter, Facebook, it all started with a thought. What was, e what was Elon Musk thinking when he started PayPal, when he started Tesla, when he built something, when he thought about going to space? What was Mark Zuckerberg thinking when he wanted to build Facebook? He wanted to connect people. He was like, how can I use a computer to make it easier for people to com communicate from different places around the world, right? And he thought about that and he built it into something called Facebook and gave it a name. But it all started with an idea, a thought. So thoughts are powerful. Did you know that your thoughts can cause things to happen too? If you think you can do well at, on a test and study hard, you probably will. But if you think you can't do well on a test, so you don't study because you think it's already hard, then you probably won't pass that test, right? That must have happened to you before. Interesting fact. Scientists found that when people think positive things, good things tend to happen to them. There's also this beautiful thing called the law of attraction, right? When you think positively, you attract positive ideas. You think smarter. You, you attract things that make you make better decisions. But when you think negatively, you attract negative scenarios. You think everything is working against you. The world is like a mirror. Like you can see me in the gym. I might be working out. Your perception is your projection. So you see a big dude like me in the gym. I'm working out, lifting weights. My face is hard. I'm... You must. You you probably think I'm a I'm an asshole. You probably think like this guy is so me. I'm sure he's not friendly. I'm sure he's not friendly. Just by the way you see me working out, that's because some people will have a negative mindset about how I look. How tall I am, how big I am, why am I lifting so many ways? They've already projected the fact that I may not be a nice guy. But in all reality, I'm a nice guy, right? And even in, in the scenario of dating, right? There's so many times where I see a beautiful girl and she just has a straight face, resting. They call it the resting bitch face, right? She has a straight face, straight face, not going about her day, minding her business, not thinking about me at all. Then I'm like, oh, I want to talk to this girl. Then I talk to her, then boom, instantly, the first thing I say, maybe a joke, she smiles, she cracks a smile, I'm like, whoa, at first I thought this girl might be mean, right, I, I thought maybe she might not even like me, she might be having a bad day just because she wasn't smiling, right, she was just going about her day, but when you introduce yourself, it becomes more of a friendly, because I, I added a cause, I told her, oh, hey, hey, beautiful, and she's like, oh, she called me beautiful, it's just going to make her smile, because I put a positive thought in her head about herself so it's a cause and the effect is her smiling and giving me her number pretty much but if you think you can't get the girl then you probably wouldn't even talk to her or you walk up to her very nervous and she'll be able to read that in your speech and what you say and how you act and she would also give you that reaction oh no sorry i don't think you're confident enough to get my number even though she wouldn't say that but that's the effect of you actually not being confident and actually being scared. And that goes for everything in life. Trust me. How what we expect can affect what happens. Expectation matters. Sometimes what we think will happen does happen. If you expect to have fun at a party, you usually do. Like I said, if you expect to get the girl's number, you probably would. Right? Because... She will feel it in your aura <laughs> that you know what you're doing. You're confident about yourself and you approached her the right way because you, you, you expect it to do it right. You expect it to get the number. If you don't get the number. It's either she has a boyfriend or she has some reason that she just doesn't want to give it to you. Right? So, but most times it starts with you. It's all about you. This reality is a mirror. I want you to understand that. When you go into a job interview, for instance, if you're nervous, if you don't think you're qualified, you're going to you're going to answer horribly. You're gonna tell them like I grew up thinking like you go into interviews and tell them what they want to hear. But the funny thing is, like, interviewers want to hear you and hear that you're actually fit for the job and hear your own real life scenarios, the way you think, the way you act, the way you behave, how you handle situations on a personal basis. But most people prepare themselves with all these answers where it's like okay I'm, I'm prepared to say 
what you expect me to say because I don't think my actual experience is good enough. Because I don't think I actually deserve the job. I just want the money. Right? People can read that. Those people are also trained to read that. The universe is a mirror. You're going to reflect that to them. And the things that you say, the way you act, the way you stand up or sit down in the in the interview, all of that is going to reflect to them that you're not the one for the job. So why does this happen? We When we expect something, we act in ways that make it more likely to happen. If you think you have fun, you'll be friendly. And that makes fun more likely. You go to a party thinking, oh, oh this party is filled with rich people. All of them are brats. They don't, you know, you, you, you come in with all these negative attitudes about, oh, my clothes are not fresh enough. I don't think I look good enough. No girl likes me. You come in with all that in your head. Trust me, you're going to have the worst time in that party. But you can go into that party thinking you're the man. <laughs> and I've seen guys that don't even wear designer that get most girls. But because they're just funny, they have a good personality. They like to have fun. They know how to dance. They do their thing, right? They have a good aura. So it attracts those females. But the best guy with the best dress, the Gucci, all that on, he's just in the corner, nervous, because he thinks that's what is supposed to get the girls. But meanwhile, it's all about the mind and how you think about yourself. Because you can have all of that drip on. I'm not saying guys with drip don't get girls. Don't get me wrong. But you can have all of that on and still not get girls, right? Same thing. You can... You can, you can know all the things about a business. You might have the best services. You might have the best product. The person might be the right customer, the right prospect, right? But if, you not, if you're not confident about the sale, you're going to think you're a scam. They're not going to believe in what you're going to do. Like, you, you pitch it to them. They're looking at you. You can't even keep eye contact. You're stammering. You don't, you're, you're trying to speak with big words. You're trying to impress you know, they're going to see that and be like, oh, this dude is not giving me the right vibe. I just don't think I should buy it from him. Right? Things like that. It always affects your life in every way. The way you think affects the way you act, which in results, which also affects the way, which also affects your results, the results that you get. Right? So the way you think affects the way you act, and the way you act affects your results. Seeing and believing. What you see and believe. If you always think bad things will happen, sometimes you only see the bad things because that's what you're looking for. Powerful. Changing your focus. If you start looking for good things, instead you start noticing more good things around you. I used to live in Canada for seven years, right? After graduating university, I studied computer science for four years in Canada. And after graduating university, I started my business around there because... Uh, I always wanted to be an entrepreneur, even though I was applying for jobs. I, I know it'll take some time for me to get a job. So I just said, let me start a business, right? And start pursuing that as well on the side while I'm also pursuing interviews and getting jobs and stuff, right? So at first I was so like, oh, Canada is so small. There's no opportunities. This place is, there's no money. I was thinking all these negative thoughts because I didn't have the right guidance. I didn't have the right guidance or understanding of these principles. But the moment I started studying these principles, going back to my notes, reading all these books about all this stuff and all the information that I'm giving you here, my perception changed. And it's like it's like a, a spark lit up in my eyes and I could look around in a Canadian city and see all the opportunities, see all the businesses around me that I could help, see all the people around me I could sell to, see all the people I could make money from, right? But when I was in that low vibrational negative state i couldn't see no opportunity all i saw was a shitty city that was cold and always icy and <laughs> all the bad things about the place that i was living and some of you are going through the same thing right now you're in a particular city and you just think like, oh this place is this place people say this my city ain't shit my city ain't shit america ain't shit everywhere they go it ain't shit i'm like you want to go to mars right <laughs> you want to live alone like so that's the thing it's all about your mind it's all about the perspective the moment you, you start to realize like oh i can change that i can actually start thinking more positively and if you take a look at my previous videos you're going to find out the techniques that i've thought in those that i've taught you guys in those videos 
on how to actively change your thoughts from a negative place to slightly negative to negative to positive, right? Negative to slightly next negative to positive. There are techniques you have to do to rewire your subconscious mind to start producing more positive thoughts. And once you're able to do that, you start to see all the opportunities around you. Once you're able to stick to information like this on YouTube, you keep watching my videos, you keep watching other creators that teach you positive things about the world and yourself and your powers with your thoughts because everything is mental. Once you're able to fix your mind and fix your mind, everything else is going to come easy because it's all mental. Relationships, job, money, everything is mental. So the moment you're able to think more positively and fix your subconscious mind to release more positive thoughts to yourself, trust me, you're going to start to see all the opportunities around you and everything is going to start to click. Making good use of the law of cause and effect. How to use this law? You can use this law to make better things happen. Start by thinking about good things you want to happen. Some of you want to be musicians. Some of you want to be athletes. Some of you want to be YouTubers. Some of you want to write a book. Some of you want to start a business. Start thinking about that. In one of the books I've read, which is The Master Key, I refer to, I refer to it in a lot of my videos. In that book, it talks about concentration. Concentration is the most powerful thing to manifest your desires. The moment you're able to focus on, I want to be a musician. Right? You focus on that. That is your main goal in life, to be a musician. I want to write a book. I want to start a business. I want to be a millionaire. Focus on that positively. Positively and build on that business and see all the opportunities rather than seeing the impossibility of it. Because if you're in a negative vibration, you can never see the possibility. Meanwhile, you wake up every day and you see people your age doing it, starting businesses, writing books, blowing up on TikTok making music, going on tour. You see all the people, other people just like you, living your dreams. So why do you still think it's impossible? It's either you become part of the 5% or you stay with the 95%. Because trust me, 95% 95 of people are brainwashed, think there are no opportunities. 95% of people are mostly negative. That's a fact. 95% of people don't think. I feel like there's a great awakening happening, of course, right now, which is making a lot of people start thinking. For sure, a lot of people are starting to think and wake up like, yo, what is happening? Right? This is not how I'm supposed to live. So that's part of it too. So that's why you're watching this video. So you need to take this seriously and concentrate. Concentrate on learning how to shift your mind to a positive state so that you can focus and concentrate on the things that you want to manifest that's all that matters stop focusing on the negativity stop watching the news stop going down rabbit holes stop all those like the spiritual like you see the spiritual world where it's like you know there's a spiritual stage where you're in you're used to going down dark rabbit holes about the world that the world is a bad place all these conspiracies about the government hating you and wanting to enslave you and trap you and kill you and cut that out <laughs> You need to concentrate on what you want to manifest. You need to concentrate on your own desires. You need to concentrate on that. That's what you need to focus on, nothing else. Being mindful. Pay attention to your thoughts. Try to think pos positively and believe the best. So I want to teach you in this lesson as well. Every time, a you need to learn how to quiet your mind at first. Learn how to sit down in a quiet place and think about nothing. When a thought pops in your head, go back to the silence. When a thought pops in your head, go back to the silence. Think about nothing at all. Then when you get to that stage, then you start to learn how to flip your thoughts. So once a thought pops in your head that's negative, like when you're starting to meditate, the first thought that's going to pop in your head is like, oh, this meditation shit is some bullshit. And you take, you take that and you flip it. Oh, but I've, I've seen it work for a lot of people. I've heard about it a lot, so it must be true. I know if I keep practicing it, I might get it right. So you start to flip your thoughts by yourself on purpose, right? You flip it and you flip it and you flip it from a place of 
negative to a place of slightly less negative, slightly less negative to a place of positive, where it's like, okay, I got this. I can actually quiet my mind. I can actually meditate. Make It's making me feel better. I feel more relaxed, right? So things like that. In every scenario, learn how to flip your thoughts from a place of negativity to a place of positivity. Conclusion. Summing up what we've talked about today. Today, we learned that the law of cause and effect means that everything we do think can cause things to happen. By thinking good thoughts and expecting good things, we can make our lives better. In the past two weeks, I've, I've gotten over 200 subscribers. And that's all because I, I know that this information that I'm presenting is going to be useful to people all around the world. And that's a positive. That's because I'm thinking positively. And I'm acting on those thoughts that I'm thinking. So the way to do it is that you have to think about what you desire, right? You want to start a business. You want to write a book. You want to write a novel, right? You know that you want to entertain people with that novel. So write the novel. Think positively about your story. Put it out there. You promote it. Market it. You start to get ideas on how to execute it to take it to the next level. Your music, follow your desire, your passion, your highest excitement about your music. Go to the studio, record the song, promote it. Every time that you get a positive inspiration in your heart, they're like, oh, get up, go write the song. Oh, those little sparks of inspiration that just pop in your head and you feel like, oh, you feel this excitement about the thought of possibility. Act on it. Don't just let it die down and wait for a negative thought to come in and cloud that inspiration don't wait act on it now act on it now act on it now act on it now and once you once you're able to keep acting on it on a frequent basis on a daily basis that's what i want to say i hope like people should be doing their purpose on a daily basis because all you have is one day so if you're a musician make music every day because that's what you say you're passionate about right because a labor of love is no labor at all because if you love music if you love writing books you love telling stories if you love creating content you should do that every day and not feel a way about it and the moment you're able to do that every day for 21 days this is a proven fact it's going to become a habit it's going to become a habit you're no one's going to be able to stop you because you've gotten into the rhythm of it it's your habit now and consistency is the key to success so the moment you've pushed your music so long that you think you're about to quit that's the moment you're about to succeed. So keep going. That's the moment you're about to learn what you need to learn to make the music better. So keep going. Never stop until you feel like that's no longer your excitement. Don't lie to yourself about what excites you. Because like I say in most of my videos, I can't see your thoughts. Your neighbor, your mom, your dad, they can't see your thoughts. None of us can see your thoughts. The only person that can see what you think and what you feel is you. And the universe, God. And God created the universe with certain laws to see that for you and make your thoughts your reality. That's just the way the world works. That's just the way the material world works. That is just metaphysics. Remember, what you think is what you think is what you become. What you feel is what you attract. What you imagine is what you create. This is a way to remember how powerful your thoughts are. I repeat, what you think you become what you feel you attract what you imagine you create putting it all together start with your thoughts like i said learn how to shift your thoughts from a place of negativity to a place of positivity your thoughts are powerful and they can cause many effects in your life they cause all the effects in your life Somebody can't literally, like, another person can't literally make you angry, right? Because if, it's, if somebody says, Emmanuel, you're stupid, I'm going to look at them and be like, hmm, do you even know anything about me? Probably not. So how can you think I'm stupid? Because you know nothing about me. But most, most people will hear you're stupid and have a negative reaction. But that reaction is because you believe it. But if you didn't believe that, you're going to look at the person and laugh. Like, okay. So most of the time, people don't actually have 
power over you. You have power over you. Your own thoughts and your own beliefs about yourself has power over you. So your thoughts create everything. Your, your thoughts create every effect in your life. Not just many. Every effect. Every effect. The more you master your mind, the more you create your reality. Simple. Expect good things. When you expect positive outcomes, you're more likely to act in ways that make them happen. I didn't know one of my videos was going to go viral and get... I'm, t I'm talking viral, but it's just like... Right now, it's at 5,000 views. That's viral to me. 5,000 people? That's amazing to me. Right? I knew that... What I did know was that the information that I'm putting out there will be useful to other people. I do know that for sure. And I had positive expectations of people receiving the information and appreciating the information. So I put it out there. And guess what? I got the effect that I desired. I got the effect that I caused. I created that. I posted that video so it did what I expected it to do. Sometimes people might not catch up till later. So even that video trickles down into my other videos and more people are going to my other videos and watching them and learning different things from my other videos. Even videos that get 20 views. Sometimes somebody will go there and be like, wow, this is amazing. But if I never put it out there, it will never be there. In a year from now, if I get a, a million view video, all those people are going to go back to my other videos and learn all this amazing stuff. So it's the expectation that what I'm doing is good. I'm expecting that good things are going to come from giving good things. I'm causing good to receive good. Focus on positive. By looking for good things, you start to notice more positive aspects in your life. Like I said, once I shifted my mind about the positivity, I started to see all the businesses that I could do business with. Uh, I started to see all the people I could sell to. I started to see all the entrepreneurs. I started to see all the people that were struggling with business like me. So I started to understand the world in a different perspective that it was all in my head. I, I was thinking negatively. That's why I thought there were no opportunities. But most of the time in every city, in the United States, for instance, like where I'm at right now, every city, the United States has a GP, a GDP, which is gross domestic product of trillions of dollars. So there's trillions of dollars in circulation in the United States every year, every year, every year. And it's increasing. And the reason for inflation is because there's more money in circulation. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> so there's more opportunities. That's why there's more suffering. Because a lot of people don't think and the money goes to a certain direction and you can benefit from that from that direction because it's abundant. Money never runs out. More money is being printed every year. Create your reality. Use the law of cause and effect to shape your experiences and create the life you want. Like I said, the information in this video and my other videos, use it to your benefit. Test it out. Think positively. And see it work out for you. Change your vibration. And see it work out for you. I'm going to make a video on how to change your vibration for sure. Because I'm, I'm sure a lot, of, all of you, a lot of you want me to dive into more of how to change your thoughts. And how to change your perspective. So that you can be able to actually use this to, the, to your advantage. right? Because this, is not, this presentation cannot just give you all the information. This is just to enlighten you. But you have to keep coming back because it's not a one-day thing. It's a lifelong commitment to keep this practice so that you can manifest for the rest of your life. Till you get it. And one day it's just going to click. Boom. I get it now. I get it now. Wow. And you're going to see the results. You're going to do something, get the effect. And you're like, wow, this works. You're going to do something, get the effect. Wow, this works. You're going to do something, get the effect. Wow, this works. You understand? I know you understand. You understand. Okay, so like I said, you made a great decision by choosing to watch this video. Check out my other videos. Keep learning this stuff and you wouldn't recognize yourself this time next year. All right.